In today's video, I am going to show you how to get the most out of your pencil brush to create a beautiful sketches that will look just like the ones you created on paper. Let's get started. First things first, we need to grab a pencil brush. You can choose any of the default pencil brushes that came with Krita. Or you can choose to use a brush that you have created yourself or uploaded from a bundle you found online. For those of you who don't know how to find a particular brush, let me show you quickly how it is done. Go to Choose Brush Preset. If you are already in a tag section, like this one for instance, I am in my Photo Manipulation tag, you will need to get out of there. To do so, just click on the tag that says All. You now have all the brushes listed. If you look at the very bottom of the panel, you will see the search bar. Type Pencils. And here they are, all the default pencils and the ones you may have added. Just like we rotate and tilt a pencil on paper to achieve thin or thick lines, the same applies in the digital art. However, not all digital pencil brushes are created equal. To replicate the realistic feel of a traditional pencil, you will need to use a brush with a tilted stroke capability. In this demonstration, I'll be using this one. Of course, make sure to test all the other brushes available to see which one of these will work best for your project. Let me show you how I test my pencils. I always start first with the pen pressure activated. I test the tilting of the brush by drawing a few lines. Then I test the pressure. The best way to do so, in my opinion, is to create a gradient to measure how the pencil brush responds to my different pen pressures, transitioning from light to heavy strokes. As you can see, this pencil is working very well. Then I turn off the pen pressure. Now, please know that if you leave the opacity and flow of your brush at 100%, you will not get the gradient effects created earlier. You can see that uh, all strokes uh, look the same here. When uh, deactivating the pen pressure, you will need to decrease the opacity and flow of the brush. As you paint over existing strokes, the effect is uh, cumulative. So the more you do it, the darker, and the less you do it, the lighter. I hope uh, this makes sense. For beautiful pencil art, I will advise you to work with and without the pen pressure activated. Uh, let me demonstrate. I have created a new layer above my background. The pen pressure is now deactivated because I need to create a rough sketch. Now that the rough sketch is done, I decrease the opacity of the layer and create a new layer above. The rough sketch is going to be my reference from now on. Time to activate the pen pressure. Remember, by using the pen pressure, it eliminates the need to manually adjust the brush's opacity and flow. The only thing you need to do here is press harder or lighter on the pen to achieve darker or lighter brush strokes. If you think about it, it's just like using a real pencil. Now, please don't press too hard. You don't want to damage your stylus or your tablet.
For the shading, I create a new layer and I deactivate this time the pen pressure and I play with a different opacity and the flow settings as I go. I also use the tilting capabilities of the brush to its full potential. And voila, uh, we are done for today. I hope uh, this was helpful. Uh, please uh, make sure to give it a try. I will uh, see you next time. Until then, happy creating.